And three cards came out. Forbidden, cautious. We have regret. And we had third person. Okay. So I'm picking up on somebody. Okay, so Sunseeds could have put you in a third party situation. But whoever this third party is, Sunseeds, your person was warned. Was warned to not not deal with this third person at all. Forbidden, they was definitely warned, like cautious, like proceed with cautious. Don't go, don't, don't do this. Because if you mess with this third person, this is something that you're gonna regret. Okay. It was warned. Let's pull from the tarot. Let's see what's going on. But your person, whoever the third party is, your person was warned not to deal with this person at all. Okay. Yeah, High Priestess with the Knight of Swords. Okay. Um, I feel like now this person is listening to their intuition. This person wants to come towards you. That's in regret. Under the bottom, we have Abundance and Thinking of You. It's giving me Empress or Emperor vibes. You guys are in this Abundance energy. This person is definitely thinking about you, looking at things from a new perspective. We have Affection and Genuine Love. I feel like you gave this person a lot of affection, um, Sunseeds. A lot. Your love was genuine. It was pure. When you found out about this third party, it, it, but a lot of you guys, you found out about a third party, but for ones who didn't, it's something about your intuition. Well, yeah, it's something about your intuition with the high priestess that told you to pull back. That's why things have been on, um, things been delayed. You could have been plundering, trying to figure out things. A lot of you guys can be spending a lot of time by yourself, you know, just thinking, trying to put the pieces together. But it's something with, you know, you, something about your intuition is telling you something. But this person is now listening to their intuition. That's why with the Knight of Swords, this person wants to come rushing towards you. But this person knew they had no business messing with this third party. They knew that. And they regret. Because the loyalty was always with you. And this person wants your forgiveness. They do. But whoever this third party is, this third party is jealous. They is jealous. They were forbidden not to go towards this person. This person had hidden motives. But the metaphysics is giving me with this metaphysics. It's something changed within your person. And I feel like what changing with, within your person was the, the love that they shared for you. Something changed. It could have made this person want to be a better person. It could have made this person want to open up their heart chakra. Meaning to open up, you know, um, to loving you or just open, being open to um, being able to love you better or express that. Because we have clarity here. Okay. Something, this person is receiving clarity. Okay, they, this is somebody that wants to forever with you. They do. But whoever the third person is, this third person, if you see it's three, three in both of these cards, there's a third part, third person. This person wants to hang on. But your person just doesn't want that. Your person wants to be loyal to you. And whoever the third party is, they don't like that. Because they feel like, well, this person is um, willing to give you and with this metaphor, meta, uh, metaphysic, how this person is willing to change. Somebody feels like, well, you you, did, you didn't change for me. Or you wouldn't change for me. What it is about this person, like I said, with the abundance and thinking of you, is giving me Empress and Empress vibes. Because they're not you. You only get one Empress or Emperor in one lifetime. You don't go around meeting these people all the time. Now, you can get a lot of queens, knights, but there's only one empress or emperor. And somebody realizing how devoted, okay, how, how somebody is so devoted to getting this happiness with you. This person wouldn't change for them, but they would change for you. And somebody knows that. But unrequited love and karma. I feel like whoever your person is, with that forbidden, this person was scared. They ran from you. They ran from you. They ran from you. And they went to a third party that was unrequited love. They was warned with the forbidden and caution card. Now somebody is, could be receiving some type of karma. Yeah, we're passionate. Yeah. Somebody could have did something out of lust. But with this so um, connection and romantic, yeah. This person doesn't, yeah. This person regret leaving you single as well. 
with this marriage card. Somebody wants more with you, okay? Yeah, this person puts you in competition. They put you in competition with someone with, 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 it don't even compare. Now this person spies on you because they're heartbroken. It could have been just a friendship situation. Yeah, friendship. Friendship surprise. Somebody could have been doing something. You know, while you guys were um, separated, this person could have been, you know, just doing stuff that they had no business doing. But whoever the third party was, they was forbidden. They was they was warned not to deal with this person. Well, yeah, whoever this rebound is. They went to, when y'all guys broke up, they went to this rebound. This rebound is jealous of you because they caught feelings for your person. And they want more with your person. But your person wants you. They could have your person could have definitely communicated with this person that is not over between me. Um, you know, me and my person. Your person also could have definitely um, was talking about you to this person. But they didn't know that this person, um, mm -mm, this person had alternative motives, like some type of hidden agenda. This person was supposed to keep it to themselves. They saying it's not over yet. They were supposed to keep this to themselves. They said it's not over. This relationship is not over between you guys. Let's pull for the tarot, son. See, I feel like whoever the third party is, they want to turn you guys against each other. But somebody is now realizing that they was worn out to deal with this person. This person is jealous and envious. You can't compare to a divine feminine. I'm getting picking up when you guys are the divine feminine, divine feminine, divine masculine. When the spirit give me some messages, please and thank you. The sun card. King of Pentacles under the bottom. You make this person happy. This person see marriage with you. I can't look at this. I said this person sees marriage with you. King to the queen. King and queen of Pentacles. This is how this person sees you. This is how this person sees you. They see a success with you. But whoever this third party is, okay, does not like the fact that it's, 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 this third party don't like the fact with this star card, they don't like the fact that this person, whoever this third party is, know that they want to heal a situation with you. They know that. They was forbidden not to deal with this jealous, envious person that was jealous of you. But with the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Wands being here, yeah, whoever this third party was, they are, they leaving it behind. They closing out a cycle. It could have been just something with just lust and passion. Somebody want to give you the world. Somebody want to be with you. And whoever this third person is, they want that with your person, but your person don't want that with them. Mm. Yeah. They was waiting for this person. <laughs> this whoever the third party is, they was waiting for this person, your person to offer them something. Your person does not offer them nothing. Your person wants new, new with you. A new cycle. Justice. This person wants to balance things out with you. They do. They know it's not going to be easy. They know it's going to be rough. But somebody feels like they, they you deserve this balance because there was an injustice done to you in the past. This third party knows that. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Cups. They don't like the fact that this person set a boundary. This person wants to free, be free so they can bring you this connection. This person is protecting themselves towards whoever the third party is. Which they was warned not to deal with this person because this person wasn't real right. This person was jealous and envious of you. Yeah, this person loves you. They know this. This person loves you. Look at this. Person is in love. And this whoever the third party is wanted to be them so bad. I don't feel like there's nothing that's going to discourage this person from coming towards you to make things right. Somebody want a second chance. Whether you're ready or not, this person is going to come towards you. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages, please, and thank you.
we have the hangman. This person is definitely, I'm telling you, this person is enlightened. This person, whoever your person is, they are very enlightened. They know where their happiness relies. The hangman with the sun card, somebody is definitely enlightened to something. And I feel like that's why the spirit warned this person, like, nope, don't go that way. Don't you go that way. The moon card, okay? This is all was done in secret. But with the eight of cups, I see this person has finally walked away. Okay? What's this moon card, Holy Spirit? I feel like this person just don't just can't get enough of your love. Like, I feel like even if this person feel like they have to wait for you, they will. What's the moon card, Eight of Cups? Somebody is enlightened. Somebody wants to walk away from the secrets and the deception. They were forbidden not to deal with this person. They were. Yeah, I'm telling you. They walking away because this person, this person is jealous of you. This person is actually really jealous of you. This person sees some type of competition with you. Whoever this third part, party is, they feel like your person is supposed to be with them. They see you as some type of secret competition. And your person realized that your person walked away with the Eight of Cups. They walking away. But they was forbidden to not deal with this person. I'm picking up on a copycat. Somebody who, who, who wanted to be this divine feminine or divine masculine so bad. Your person realized that this person is in secret competition with you. Why would I want a copycat when I can have the real? Why? Yeah, lovers. I'm telling you. Lovers with the tower. I can't make it up. Lovers in a tower. This person had a choice between you and whoever the third per person was. But with this tower being here, it's giving me someone had a sudden epiphany. Like, hell no. I need to make a choice and I need to make a choice fast. Okay? Because I'm going to lose what I really want. That's why we have the regret. Thank you, spirit. That's why we have this person in regret. And I see you, emperor. This emperor trying to stick out on the side. He's like, yeah, uh-huh. He or she. But somebody had a sudden epiphany. And now they're in regret with the king of cups. Seven of swords. Somebody uh, feeling like they could have possibly lost you. Um, and this person could be feeling like they was, um, you know, receiving bad karma. Their karma could be, you know, you walking away. Yeah. King of Cups, Three of Cups for having a third party situation. Page of Swords in reverse. This person not only spies, but they obsessively spies. They watches you. I don't know how, but this person watches you. Give me a card. But this person definitely freed themselves from whoever this karmic was. Spirit, what's the regret? The love is in a tower. Whoever this karmic is, they want to be in your shoes so bad. And your person realized that. The love is in the tower, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Two of wands. <laughs> love is in towers clarified with the two of wands. Somebody is regretting the decisions, um, the choices that they made in the past. Um, I don't see the six of cups out here, but I just, I'm picking up on it heavily. Somebody is regretting the choices that they made. And now they had a sudden epiphany. Like, damn, I was warned not to go to the person. I was warned. This third party could have possibly ruined everything. Hopefully not. Seven of wands, nine of pentacles. And I see that you guys are setting up boundaries towards this person. Excuse me, that was confirmation. Excuse me, I just break. <laughs> So that was confirmation. You guys are setting up boundaries. Or you guys could be, um, you know, being in the, you know, just in this independent energy, you know, self-sufficient. You know, been doing things by yourself, working on yourself. Um, you just be having your guard up, sons eats, because of what you've been through with this person. You could definitely be in the process of just healing at this time. Bless me. Huh. Spirit, give me more messages, please, and thank you. Two of Wands. What's this Two of Wands and Regret? Yeah, somebody's in, somebody's in regret for the choices that they made. What's the Two of Wands, Holy Spirit? Love is towers, Two of Wands, Regret. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Nine of Swords. This person stressed out. Can't sleep very well. 
This person is in their head a lot. This person is in a lot of regret, having a lot of anxiety, you know, just up one night because of the decision that they made. Somebody is regretting the choices that they made when it came to you. The spirit tried to warn this person not to, you know, this person wasn't real right. Yeah, this person feel burdened. Somebody, yeah, I'm telling you, Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ten of Wands. Somebody knew you was the only one for them, but they was acting out of lust. And whoever this third party is, they just, I guess they just, you know, I can't even get it out. Whoever this third party is, I guess they just, you know, um, was thinking what was in their pants, male or female. Okay? Because you didn't want to be bothered. Or you pulled away. You put something on pause or delay. Something about your intuition told you, like, mm mm mm, -mm. This person is regretting not listening to their intuition. Because whoever your person is with the King of Cups that keep coming, they're very intuitive. They know. For some of you guys, it was just a, a, a one night stand. They spent the night with this person and did something with this person. And this person, this person made it more than what it was. They knew, they knew what it was. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, high priestess and the five of wands. Okay? This person is beating themselves or fighting with themselves because they didn't listen to their intuition. And whoever the third party is, Spirit is saying they also fighting with this person. They are. Somebody wanted more with your person. But look at this. They wanted this with the Empress. I can't make it up. Somebody wanted to compete where they don't compare. They wanted to compete where they don't compare. Somebody like, why the hell would I be with a copycat? Why would the hell would I be with somebody that, you know, is in competition with my divine feminine or my divine masculine? Like, where did they do that at? Yeah, like, somebody wants a second chance with you. Like, why would, like, I heard you, you know what, I'm not playing. I heard you wetter than an aquarium. Ooh, so it's like Aquarius can be very to make it fit. I don't know. <laughs> uh, somebody like, you ain't got nothing on this about feminine. Nada. Nada. Period. Nothing. Divine feminine, divine masculine. You know, there's no gender in tarot. But somebody like, you ain't got nothing on this person. Give me a card on the third person, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Two of Swords. And whoever the third person is, they were so like, I guess because your person probably could have been giving this person a little bit of attention. They thought they just, they thought that you was going to be out the picture. They, they, no. Your person is seeing who the hell this two-faced ass person this third person is. Okay? That was just hanging on. Okay? Trying to Trying to get your place, Empress or Emperor. Somebody was like, no. You hanging on so I could choose you. But you're in secret competition with the one that I'm in love with. Somebody's in regret. I'm telling you, with that hangman and that sun card, somebody's enlightened. Somebody's seeing things for what it is. What's the third person in towards towards Holy Spirit? Somebody see the motives behind this, 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 third, this third party. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. They didn't... They didn't and it, I feel like before, they didn't um, see themselves regretting putting the time and the energy into this third party. How would it affect this connection with you guys? But now they're regretting it. Somebody realizing how jealous and two-faced this third party really is. What's this two of swords? Seven of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. Page of Swords. Ooh. This person watches you and study you. Somebody sees you as a star. I don't know what the uh, uh, Aquarius can be very significant, but somebody see or you, if it's, if Aquarius is not significant, it just can be that somebody sees you as a star. Somebody looks at sees you as a star, and somebody is looking back like, "Damn, I should have made better choices. I should have, you know, I should have told you. I should have did right by you." Damn. Yeah, but what, yeah. Page of Swords, Page of Cups. I feel like this person, um, they was acting at, at you know, immature, um, mm, they was very immature. 
they was very immature with the decisions that they made. This person also, the third party, can be someone very younger as well. Yeah. Your person could be younger. You could be younger, or this whoever this third party is is um is pick. I'm picking up on. This was um a, a, a somebody who was younger. Give me another card on the page of swords and page of cups on the spirit. Yeah, nine of wands with the ten of swords. Something is over. Something is over, and somebody is moving on. Somebody learned that whatever lessons that they need to learn from this third party, they're like, no, nah, I'm not doing this no more. Yeah, nine of cups, four swords, whatever they overdid, they probably could have been, you know, this could have been somebody who's drink a lot, just do a lot, do a, a lot of the most. But all of that is coming to a rest. Seven of cups, somebody is all in their head. Yeah, somebody all in their head because they realized <laughs> it wasn't worth it. It wasn't. Somebody try to find strength right now. It wasn't worth it. I feel like whoever this third party is, they know that it's over with the Ten of Swords. But with the Nine of Wands, it's giving me that this person just, they don't want to give up. They want to hang on to this person. Give me a card of the Nine of Wands. Give me a card of Nine of Wands, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Whew. I want to go up in reverse. So I'm going to take it like that. Whoever this Queen of Swords is, it's just like, they don't want to, they don't, they don't want to give up. They could be cursing this person out, saying mean things, talking, you know, just not like, they, they was forbidden though. They was forbidden not to deal with this energy. This Queen of Swords could be saying all types of stuff to this person because they don't want it to be over. The Ten of Swords is something that's over. The Nine of Wands, is, this person doesn't want to give up. The Queen of Swords in reverse could be, you know, saying so many things. Could have been trying to look up dirt on you to try to bring back to this person which they can't find anything. This Queen of Swords is going the hell off. Because they realize this person doesn't want anything to do with them no more. With the, with the Moon card and the Eight of Cups, this person, whatever... The third party was a secret. Let's keep it... It, it was a... The third party was a secret for one. Okay? This person does not want to deal with this person. They feel like this person is in competition with you. They see this person for who they are. Give me a card on the Queen of Swords in reverse. This is the type of person that brings up your name and be lying on you. Be lying. Bringing back wrong information. The Queen of Swords in reverse was clarified with the Queen of Cups. Wow, this could be um this can be someone's mother or baby mother. Give me another card on the Queen of Cups. Oh, you can be a you can be um <coughs> excuse me, Sunseeds. Ooh. Somebody did not want me to say this. You could be a psychic or someone who's very um intuitive. Okay, and maybe that's what you do. Whoever this, this person is, this Queen of Swords in reverse, could have been trying to dig up dirt about you. Could have been trying to get this person to turn against you because there's something different about you. Empress. Give me a card on the Queen of Cups. Holy Spirit, give me a card on the Queen of Cups, please and thank you. The Fool card. This person wants to take a leap of faith with you. Whoever this queen of swords is, they know this. They could have felt like whatever you do, I, I'm picking up with the high priestess. I keep seeing with the queen of cups, you can, the high priestess and the queen of cups, even the queen of cups usually a psychic, you know? But they have the high priestess and the queen of cups keep showing to me, you could be a psychic. They could have, the, the third party could have been telling this person, oh, you different, you, don't, you, you know, this person a psycho. This person is very intuitive or whatever. You don't, you don't want to be with this person. This person like, the hell, yes, I do. The hell, yes, I do. <laughs> the hell yes I do period this person like oh the hell yes I do I see everything with them mm. something is over give me a card on the um, give me a card on the queen of cups and the full holy spirit please and thank you 
This person is arguing with this queen of swords about you. You knew that. This person knew that this person wanted to be with you. Three of Pentacles, I'm telling you. Arguing with this person over you. This third party. Yeah. Somebody just can't get enough of your person. But somebody is definitely enlightened about whoever this third party is. And they want a new beginning. They want to take a leap of faith with you. This person could have, um, this person could have talked, you know, went out and, um, seek some type of help. This person, wow. Your person could have went and re reached out to a tarot reader, got some type of assistance or some type of help. Ooh, give me a card on three of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Page of Pentacles. I cannot make it up. Your person could have definitely reached out. To a tarot reader, a tarot reader could have told this person, like, no, mm -mm. this your person, this your person. Your person definitely went to seek out some type of help from somebody who do something in divination. Yeah. Five of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Somebody regret, 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 regret from you. Yeah, I'm telling you, it came back out. They regret that. I'm telling you. You're not a card on the Five of Cups, Holy Spirit. The Magician and the Seven of Cups. Yeah. Somebody had whatever options, whoever this person is, they are all in their head. This person is trying to manifest you back in. They are. The high priestess, the temperance, and the nine of pentacles. This person sees you as somebody very balanced. This person is also was, you know, hoping that you'll be patient with patient with them. Okay. This person regrets, regrets not being with you, not doing right by you. This person wants more with you. High priestess, temperance, the nine of pentacles. You're very tapped in. A beautiful energy, very balanced. Seven of Cups and a Magician. This person is definitely trying to manifest you back. They all in their head about it. This person has a lot of feelings and emotions for you. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages. Please. Thank you. I'm not like the sun seeds. A lot of them feel like you guys moving on to new love. Yeah, we have finances and rejection. Spirit is saying um, rejection, yeah. That rejection was actually your divine protection. This person definitely could be um, receiving bad karma um, and it could be going, going through when it comes to their finances because of the decision that they made. Abundance, support, and strictly sexual. Something that they had with the third party was strictly sexual. Maybe a person was in this abundant energy before, but now they could be leaning on other people, you know, and they, um, but this abundance, thank you, spirit. This abundance, spirit is saying, this is you. Let me go back to the sun seeds. Oh, I must have put it back in. But I could have, it came up early, but look how it is now, abundance and clarity. But it was abundant and thinking of you earlier that I seen. Um, whoever this person is that rejected you, they're, they're thinking about you that's in this Empress abundance, okay? This person with this support is giving me that this person um definitely was somebody that uh, was able to lean on you, confide in you, um... You could have gave this person great advice. You could have also helped this person financially at times. Or this person just could see you in this abundant energy. And they know you will be the, 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 the excuse me, you are the person that they can, you know, lean on. If they get into anything or they need help or they, um, I, and when I say help, um, support in any kind of way, they know that you'll be the one that, you know, they can lean on. This karmic, it was nothing but just strictly sexual. It was strictly sexual. This person is regretting that. But the spirit is saying that um, you was being protected the whole time. 
Okay. So I know, I mean, even if you did feel some type of way, look what came out. Even if you did feel some type of way, spirit is saying you was being protected because it's something that your person need to, whatever karmic cycle that this person was in, because you seen karma earlier, they had to close out. You and this beautiful divine energy, spirit was not going to let this person come and mess with your energy. Oh no, it wasn't happening. So yes, you were. That rejection was actually divine protection. You was being protected because this person was dealing with a karmic. It says true love and regret. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. Now this person is regretting it. But they was, they was born. If this was somebody that they was married to or had children by or somebody who they was with, they could have even had, like, with this forbidden card, this could have been somebody who got a, you know, had a restrainer order out with them. It, it could have went that that far in death. It was some way that this person was warned not to deal with this energy. They received the warnings. I, I cannot. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come through. Thank you. Warning. Don't, dis don't dismiss the red flags here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It was something telling you, Sussy, this person was warned not to mess with this person. Stop playing. I cannot make it up. Stop playing with interference. Stop playing with this third party. Period. Yeah, now this person wanted to come in and balance things out, hoping that you would accept them now. Here and now. Your true love is already a part of your life. Trust. It is safe for you to trust in the situation. You and this person, I can't make it up. Different pages. You guys are on different pages. That's why you guys need a time apart with that pause and delay we seen earlier. But you could be expecting an apology from this person. You can expect the apology you want to hear. And that fool card, the, um, the Queen of Cups to clarify with the fool card. Yeah, leap of faith. Okay? It is safe for you to make the move you're considering. This person is, this queen of swords in reverse know that this person wants to take a leap of faith with you. Spirit is saying you are protected, Sunseeds. You are protected. But um, you're going to need to make a decision with someone who you share a lot of chemistry with. Okay? I feel like a lot of you... You hear them, Siren? That's confirmation. A lot of you guys... Um, this person wants you to be patient with them. You know why? Why they heal? Mm -hmm. This person on here. Oh, they know now. The sun seeds. I hope this reading helped you guys. Give you guys some type of clarity on your situation. Um, it was no balance before. It wasn't. Whoever the third party is, somebody is. I'm talking about. I feel fights, arguments, everything breaking out. Because I don't know what the hell. You know, I guess this third party. <laughs> this person was warned not to play with this person. It was warned. Now. You hear that? Them damn sirens coming off. They was warned. How this Queen of Swords in reverse was gonna come. Shoo.